When was the first time you heard about nouns? I mean, I'm sure it's during the summer of building it, but talk to me about when you first found out that they were forking the auction house. And for everyone listening, I know you touched on it earlier. Can you just explain, like I'm five, to the audience what the Zora auction house is, why nouns would want to fork that, and your first intro and experience with nouns during that summer that they were building it? Sure. So starting with what an auction house is, the auction house that we built was essentially a contract that allows any NFT to be auctioned off. And anytime a bid is placed on an NFT auction, if that bid is placed in the last few minutes, that auction timer is restarted. So if you have a 24 hour auction on some NFT and there's 15 minutes remaining, every new bid will increase that timer back to the 15 in a mark again. So you could, in theory, have these auctions that last forever until someone is completely priced out and not able to participate in the auction anymore. It was started by someone named Coldies, I think originally for Super Rare, and we just wanted to make a, a generic and public version of that for everyone. And then moving on to like when I'd heard about the nouns version of this, I remember I was working out of Jacob's place last summer And we were working, I think at the time, on this big auction for the original Doge NFT. We were building a website to support that auction. And I remember Jacob just asking, oh, did someone just fork our auction house? And we looked at the code and I was like, oh, yeah, that's using a lot of our code. And we were like, okay, cool, whatever. And just kept digging back into the Doge auction that we were working on. And it's funny, I didn't poke up my head long enough to really think about how novel the nouns really was. Zora has like been forked about 100 times at this point. And I think it's amazing every time it happens because we get these really cool iterations on these ideas where you get all sorts of new, really interesting evolutions that happen when people build off of your code. And I mean, even all of Zora's code has come from somewhere. It's always been inspired by something else. Like there's no original NFT contract, just like there's no original artwork. When I originally seen nouns, I was like, oh, cool. It's a daily auction. I didn't even think about the DAO piece. I just thought it was interesting that they were auctioning off an entire collection day by day. But as the nouns started to spread, we started thinking about a little bit more and realized just how novel that idea really was. The idea of effectively an organically growing community where one new member can be added every single day, controlling this very large treasury, where instead of all of the money from an NFT drop going to the original creator, who's expected to maintain and build that community and build a huge ecosystem, it's all in the power of the DAO itself. To steal something that Jacob continuously says, rather than devs do something as the question mark for why an NFT collection isn't going up, it's much more of like DAO do something, where it's it's on the members of that NFT community to actually proliferate and expand the ecosystem of the NFT collection itself. And that really started to break all of our heads a little bit as we started to think about the secondary effects of what nouns could be. Did you have a hand in building the auction house back then? Yeah, I think I might have been the only protocol engineer back then. I don't want to get that wrong, but a very small protocol team at Sora. That was an original contract, yeah, back then. Yeah, I was just curious. I haven't heard much. Everyone says they forked the Zora auction house, but I haven't ever really learned the history of all that. Yeah, I will say, like anyone who's listening to this, please continue to fork Zora's code. It's all open source and MIT licensed for a reason. All of these evolutions are very, very exciting. I think people like unintentionally or intentionally try to defend their code when they don't really have to. It's really forking code, just like forking nouns, it expands the value of the original. And really, the more ideas we get or the more evolutions of an original idea we get, the cooler concepts start to come out at the other end. 